And now, without any further delay, we've certainly delayed a bit. It's time for Friday Fabulous Florida. Yeah. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. A look at the weirdest stories from our weirdest state. Mm -hmm. We're looking back at Florida weird. Albert, you'll help me uh, get through this. But one of our favorites was the naked Florida man with the machete accused of trying to steal another man's clothes. Oh. That's right. Yeah. That's Very not nice scary. Job. Yeah. No, not at all. Armed with a machete, he allegedly tried to steal another man's clothes. Allegedly does get a dang, by the way. Shortly before 10 in the morning. Uh, near the Volusia County Fairgrounds, a surveyor in the area said that the dude is a 34-year-old guy named Brandon Wright. Um, he was 14, whoever's out with him. He does have a lot of charges in his history of that and resisting with us. Mm. Yeah. Looks like they're all in route. No one's on scene. Yeah, so there are the clothes on the ground next to this parked car. Mm. All right. And you'll just see his building. Everyone's got the vehicle. Cut. We're, we're running I don't late see the mail. Florida, but yeah, all the doors are open. Trump's open. There's all right. Got yeah. the yeah. naked man, is naked, just yelling, yelling at people yelling. in the parking lot. Very animated. Yeah. Hmm. Well, sometimes you got to make your point with a machete and with uh, nakedness. Uh, he <laughs> reportedly threw the machete at another guy, um, and uh, he finally was uh, handled uh, by deputies. That was one of who our had to grab story. a naked guy. Like, how do you avoid all the manly bits? You know, mm, that's uh, you definitely grab him in a specific way. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. And he's got a machete too. I'll remind yeah. you. A uh, Florida man found with <laughs> drugs after getting trapped in a porta potty. Oh. Yeah, he was stuck inside a porta potty. He had to call for help. Was he doing when the he... drugs in the porta potty? Well, uh, unclear. He probably had done the drugs within the you know the prior few hours i'm guessing mm -hmm. um he was heard yelling loudly when deputies arrived from inside the porta potty he was yelling loudly and as the deputy got closer she could hear the scream saw a foot sticking out of the bottom of the porta potty he was oh. really trying to get out of there there's your first sign they got the man out identified him as a 34 year old names named james gauss and uh he said that he had gotten his foot stuck in the door uh, when they opened the bathroom door, they found a baggie with a powdery substance. It tested positive for fentanyl. They also found a oh. syringe. Yeah. You got to no toss fun. that in like the shoot, right? And just claim innocence. Like that yeah, I mean, wasn't mine. Yeah. You're right in the toilet. You may as well get rid of that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, most people have to, have to run to the bathroom to flush it down the toilet. You're in the toilet right now. Just put it in there and you're done. The problem with that is. If you flush it, it goes away, right? But if it's a porta potty, it's still down there. They can still yeah. get it. They can't prove that it's yours, though. Come mm. on, you got to think like a criminal. You I know? guess so. I mean, yeah, exactly. I don't Ooh, know. It's, it's a scary wild mind. idea, but it just might work. A Florida woman who's thirty-eight tries to avoid a DUI with an Irish folk dance. <laughs> This is one of our favorite stories of the year. It happened in April. 38-year-old. Show it to them, Albert, please, if you would. Here she is with her folk dance. She wants to demonstrate that she's not really drunk. So Amy <laughs> Harrington, 38 years old, she had rear-ended another car, by the way. That's why she was stopped. Yeah, she doesn't look drunk at all. No. And this is in Madeira Beach, Florida. She showed several signs of inebriation, said the cops. But here she goes with the Irish dance. Not bad. You know what I mean? Really not bad. She could probably uh, get one those of those Reno 911 uh, It does feel Reno. You're right. It does feel very <laughs> Reno. <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. I did watch the extended nine-minute cut of it, and it, oh. it, it was really funny watching her attempt to stay on the line and then improvising <laughs> into, straight into the dance. Yeah, that's the thing. She wasn't able to follow the oh. cops like original, uh, you know, uh, uh, directions for, you know, sure. what to do. And so what she did is sort of segued into the dance to like cover the fact that she really was unable to walk the line and do all these other things. So, Albert, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that was a good one, Albert. A police chase uh, leads to a woman getting arrested. Um, and she said that getting arrested was actually on her bucket list, everybody. Isn't that oh. nice? She said, dream it's my dream. True. Yeah. 
Uh, a deputy in Monroe County spotted this gal at 7.45 in the morning, um, turned his lights and sirens on, tried to pull her over, but she continued driving, eventually stopped and was taken into custody. She told authorities that she wanted to get arrested. That's why she'd done all of that. It'd been on her bucket list since high school, she said. She was arrested, charged with uh, fleeing and eluding. Seems, by the way, like fleeing and eluding are pretty... Uh, yeah. See, I'm surprised those are two separate things. But, all right, look, that's a Florida thing. A Florida well, man... <laughs> Go ahead, now, now, you know, when you take the Facebook quiz, have you all the things you've all never done, you know, mm. you get a point for each. She'll right. always be able to check that I got arrested. Yeah, that's right. How are you? How that that's exactly right. I love yeah. that. A Florida yeah. man accused of stealing a vehicle... And then driving to the Space Force base to warn the government. Corey Johnson is his name, 29 years old, from Ocala. He told deputies that he'd taken a Ford F-150 without the owner's permission. So that's, that's a, you know, you don't want to do that. He had taken it to drive to Patrick Space Force base. Um, I didn't even know there was a Space Force base, I have to say. <laughs> The whole Space Force like, thing. Was, wasn't that what Mar uh, Donald Trump was talking about? Space yeah. Force? He yeah. created the Space Force. Yeah, there's one yeah. in San Diego as well. Is there really? Thanks, yeah, like, they have wow. an office in San Diego as well. Huh. Wow. Thanks, Tony. I didn't know that. Are, are they looking for any... Uh... <laughs> Are there any job openings? I think there's <laughs> six there or something like that. Oh, my God. Albert, thank you. This is wild. Anyway, this guy, Corey Johnson, again, he's 29 years old. Brevard County deputies say Johnson tried to get on the base. He claimed to be warning the government about a fight happening between, it is a pretty serious fight, Chinese dragons and U.S. aliens. Oh. Yeah. Who do you pick in that fight, Albert? Chinese dragons and U.S. aliens. This feels like like a like a Godzilla versus uh, versus King Kong. Exactly. It, it very. Uh, I, I'm going with the Chinese dragons. I don't know mm. what they're cooking over there, so I'm picking the Chinese. Dragons. <laughs> what really are U.S. aliens? I mean, if they're aliens, they're not from the United States, right? They're from outer space. So U.S. Right. aliens doesn't make sense. Well, you have come... to go for Chinese dragons. No, but they've come to the U.S. from outer space. You see, oh. and they are they're marshalling their forces to go mm. up against the Chinese dragons. But there's a lot we don't know about the alien uh, powers. So uh, he did say that he was sent by the president of the United States to give the warning. And um, he heard the president also tell him to steal the vehicle. So uh, all of that. What? Yeah, that's what he said. So that was one of our favorite stories as well. Uh, a Florida man charged for throwing a hot dog at a St. Petersburg cop. He was arrested on a felony charge after authorities said he threw a hot dog at an officer who was warning him of violating a city ordinance. You know how cops will kind of tell you, hey, hey, that is a closed street, right. blah, 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 blah. And then he got angry that he was being told this by the cop. And so he threw a hot dog at the uh, cop. What a dummy. Um, no, yeah. yeah, he was selling hot dogs. and He, he was selling continue. hot dogs. He yeah. wanted to continue selling his hot dogs, and he just decided to take matters with his own hands. So Yeah, he wasn't allowed. This is his closed street, not allowed to sell, you know, be there. And he was told to move along. And um, he threatened first the cop with the hot dog. He held it up. Um, he was asked to put the hot dog down. But authorities said he continued um, uh, to threaten them with it, and then he uh, did throw the hot dog. A minimum He's three years in jail for him. Hot if dog throwers got to throw <laughs> hot dogs. Well, a what are you, you charged yeah. with, like, a assault on a, an officer, even though it was just a hot dog? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. A naked man wearing a cowboy hat attacks a woman with a machete. This happened in Medley. I think uh, he had the machete, I'm guessing, right? Um, he didn't attack a woman who had a machete. It's written in kind of a weird way. <laughs> a South Florida man facing three felony charges. Cops accused him of attacking a woman with a machete. He didn't have a... Uh, she... Oh, the reason he attacked her is because she didn't have a crack pipe. Now, hey, look. Oh. D dude needed a crack pipe, okay? According to the arrest report, he was completely naked, wearing nothing. 
but he did have painted nails and a cowboy hat. And then he attacked the victim at Northwest 74th Street and South River Drive in Medley. Uh, where is that? That um, Near the Whole Foods? Yes, it's near the Whole Foods. Police said the woman was riding her bicycle in the area. By the way, I invited John Daly to join us today for Florida, and I yeah. didn't hear back from him. I hope he didn't text me back. Hang on a second. This would be embarrassing. I think we know how he feels at this point. Uh huh. Uh, no, he didn't text me back. Okay. Um, bye bye, Mark Thompson. No. <laughs> Mo <laughs> moving on. I'm out of Smallsville and I'm an IT guy now. <laughs> Uh, police said the woman was riding her bicycle in the area when this guy asked her for the crack pipe. Uh, the attack began after she told him, I don't have a crack pipe. <laughs> um, uh, pretty brutal. Cops um, uh, took him down, right, Albert? Is there anything else in that story I need to know? He had cops uh, arrested him. He's, yeah, uh, and she survived. It was kind of just kind of. Gruesome, it was pretty, she, yeah, pretty gross, it. right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And finally, a Florida man confesses to robbing the Circle K with a police hat. Not the Circle K. Yeah, he was bored. He said that's the reason he did it. You know, just to uh, to break the boredom. Ooh, you know, it's a wild idea, but it just might work. Yeah. Uh, an Orlando man arrested after being connected to a pair of robberies, according to cops. Detectives said that. The um, the guy who is uh, a, a TD Bank is his name. Um, he, and I'm sorry, he robbed TD Bank. Is that what it is, Albert? The Orlando cops first began their investigation when a TD Bank was robbed by a man wearing a hat. And cops said he was wearing a pair of sunglasses too, but he was wearing a police hat. Detective said the teller told them the, oh, I see, he really was robbing a bank. I feel like that's an upgrade over the normal Florida, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's a heist. That's not, right? Exactly, there's thank a, you. There's a, there's yeah. a, there has yeah. to be some plan, or at least you think that there would be some planning to that. Yeah, Albert is right. When you go into a bank, it's not like going into Circle K or 7-Eleven. You know, it's a <laughs> bank, man. I mean, you know, so anyway, he... Uh, went into the bank. He um, handed the teller a note with the words assault and money on it. Um, Figure it out. <laughs> before bo she gets it right, exactly. <laughs> no full sentences here. Uh, right, assault, exactly. money. I'm, I'm not going to write the whole note out. Who's got time for that? Ooh, right? It's yeah. a wild idea. Uh, that just um, might work. And Put then, it together, people. <laughs> then he moved on to Circle K. Two days later, a Circle K was robbed. This time, a store clerk was handed a note that said, give me all the money and a pack of 305 hundreds, please. <laughs> oh, now we're writing full sentences. Okay. What are 305's hundreds? Does anybody know? Any Cigar Is it cigarettes? I don't know. I feel like of this crew, Albert would be the one who might know, but otherwise nobody's going to know. I'd have to check the Mr. Google for that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, officers responded. Uh, they found the suspect, 45-year-old Nicholas Zapateri, in front of the store, and Orlando Cop said that he still had the stolen cigarettes and money on him. I guess they're cigarettes then. I was right. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Cal Calvin Wong also knew there were six. <laughs> very well done. Um, very, very wild. That, my friends, uh, the uh, we can end with a real heist. I love that. Bank and Circle K. That, my friends, concludes Friday Fabulous Florida for today. This has been Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. Y'all come back now, here. Yeah? I would like to share one great little piece of uh, producing work that Albert did. Each one of those stories that you just heard occurred in a different month of the year. So that he was kind of bringing us a, it was a very a well done sort of crescendo of, um, of Florida stories. So very well done. Now, um, what are we going to do in terms of a favorite? Uh, you have to Albert, thank pick you. A favorite pick one in the chat if you i'll just remind you of them quickly all right uh i naked have a poll here irish dance naked machete oh. guys there was two. Oh, uh, cool okay dog, 
and Trapped in a Porta Potty. Those are your four okay. options for today. All right, so those are your four options, and please vote on YouTube on the poll, okay? And then Albert will update us on the poll after Kim's news and before Jim Avila. Jim Avila, we're going to uh, take a little bit late, if it's okay with him, uh, to allow for Kim's news. There has been some breaking news, and so we'll get that going. And hit the poll uh, to let us know your favorite Florida story. Hit the thumbs up button to let us know uh, you like the show, you like Florida. It's been a good year. We have reconstituted the show on YouTube. Yes, they're growing pains, but we're here and we're not going away. It's the Mark.